Hi, this is Edward Mendoza, and today we're gonna to talk about getting your master's degree while traveling the world. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. And welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about the amazing opportunity that I found with OMS CS, which I've been literally living already from even before I started the program by finally fulfilling my dream of traveling the world. Now, currently we're kind of, you know, going through the bug that we're not supposed to really be outside. So <laughs> things might not be the same for me now um, for I have no idea until when. But the idea behind the um, getting this master's degree, it wasn't only financial. It wasn't only um, to have the freedom of going to a different state. I also took the opportunity to literally leave the country and just travel around. It's something I always wanted to do. And I had been putting it to the side for so many years, thinking at some point, well, maybe when I retire, maybe when I'm kind of done, you know, with, uh, with work life, I'm not working on any more projects. And when I saw this, this program, my first thought was, so I can be working on a master's. I'm not, I don't have to be in a, any physical university, not just America, just nowhere really. It's like I can literally be traveling the world, just working at coffee shops or um, wherever it is that I'm, whatever hotel I'm staying at currently, and work on my degree. It's a, it, it just seemed like a win-win um, situation. So even before I started, I started traveling around um, before I started the uh, the program, and. Um, I realized it's like it was just the right time to do it. Now, had I known all that that was going to transpire, you know, this year in 2020, I mean, I, I was just so fortunate that it's like I got out there and I started traveling before all, you know, all these airports were locked down, just all the things that were happening at the moment. But um, I mean, who knows? Maybe some of you guys that are watching this uh, this um, this video right now, it's it's. Most of this stuff is already over and I hope so. But uh, regardless, this isn't going away. It's like this program absolutely proved to me that you can get your degree, learn what you need to learn and travel and have a, just an amazing time. It's like I've, the people I've met, the places that I've been to, I mean, the food just everywhere else is just also amazing. It's like I've, I've just loved the experience and I've been almost three and a half years um, traveling now a little under three years um, as part of the program and I'll get more into that the the, uh, the duration of uh, of the pro uh, program like what I recommend as far as getting uh, your degree in, in another video but I mean the ability of really staying focused it, it, it just goes down to your own personal motivation right if you're a person who needs the classroom environment needs the teacher talking to you uh, needs that support group. I think it also depends on where you're at, right? I mean, if you're just starting your 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 uh, your programming um, career, you're gonna need more of that support, right? But luckily, between all the businesses that I was running at the time, between all the preparation I had before OMSCS, it's like I knew I was ready. I didn't realize how much more extra work I was gonna have to put into it <laughs> once I started the uh, the program. I didn't realize how how difficult it was gonna be, but. Um, I, I was ready to do that on my own, ready to be able to work on my own remotely. And uh, even my businesses, it's like I already had a remote setup where it's like I had several machines, uh, remote machines in other, in other places. So even if I would lose my laptop, it's like I had everything backed up, everything was running on, on different servers anyway. So I, I set that up while I was working on my, uh, on my, on my courses to prepare for, for OMSES. So, and, Another just huge benefit of that is also you could even go to the university. You could be at um, Georgia Tech's um, like Grove campus if if you'd want. You could probably audit some of those courses. I mean, of course, you'd have to talk to some of the professors there. But you can still be in that environment if you want to, right? But that ability that you don't physically have to be anywhere. You don't. I don't have to wake up at nine in the morning and go to a classroom. I could just watch the uh, 
the lectures and watch them over and over again. So in, in case I get lost, I, I just need a refresher uh, before a test, before a project. It's so much easier. It's like, this is the future of, of education in my mind. Um, because you have the freedom of just being anywhere at any time. And especially in, in you know, these kind of lockdowns where it's like, you're not really, it's, it's just not safe to, um, to be out there and uh, be amongst um, like big crowds like it was before. People are seeing the value in these kind of um, online education systems. Now, would I be paying the same amount as if going to the, uh, um, the campus? Well, no, because you're not getting the campus experience at all. But I already had that, right? It's like I already got my degree. I went back to school to, uh, to um, work on some other classes. I, I had the, the you know, campus environment already. So for me, that wasn't that big of a drive. If you're a person who is like, has, you know, studied from high school, you took, you know, you got your bachelor's online, you haven't really experienced that. I mean, I think that's, that would be kind of a, kind of a sad thing to miss out on life to never have had that, you know, that, you know, real on campus kind of experience. Um, but it depends on what you want. I was at a place where it's like, I really traveling around the world was so much more valuable to me at that point than, you know, going to another university and, you know, being in classrooms. It's uh, I'm not saying that anything was wrong with that, but it's a, I, I really just wanted to get out and see something different. And had I not done it when I, when I, when I started doing my travels, I'd be in a situation like now where it's like, a lot of airports are closed. You're not even supposed to be traveling to some countries. I mean, everything is so limited now. I was really lucky. I got, you know, I got out at the time that I did and I got to travel and literally I had a list. I literally did every country that I had on that list. Now there's other places I would like to visit just to visit, but all the main places, I mean, even my time in Greece, it's like I wanted to go to Santorini so badly. It's uh, I had family and my mother, my sister, went to Santorini and when I was seeing the pictures, I'm like, I have got to go at some point. So, and then I got to travel all around Spain. I, <laughs> so many places I've been wanting to go to um, that I was able to I visited Canada. And this was even before coming to these uh, Southeast um, Asian countries. Um, I had this one little moment that, 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 uh, that I had a window of opportunity where even South Korea seemed like a, you know, a safer option at the time because there was stuff happening, you know, before before I went there. So just the window of opportunity. I, I, I always tell people, if you can do something at a certain time, don't leave it for later. Cause you just don't know. I mean, who would have imagined this whole, you know, situation um, going on now. But I mean, other than that, you have to seize the moment when, when, when you see an opportunity. So if it's not the right time, because it's just not the right time, right? Just family issues, it's just work issues. You know, there was a time that I really was strapped for cash and I had to, you know, just, rebuild myself financially but luckily i was to that point where i'm like okay now i can actually do this once i finish these courses and I, if i get into the the program i'm going to do this and i remember that day so crystally clear it's like i got that note they sent me the email it's like you know you've been accepted and i'm like i'm going to travel <laughs> non-stop until i can't anymore and luckily i was able to continue with my businesses all my work has been fine I ended, it's, it's crazy, but I've actually ended up saving so much money by doing this because, I mean, I've been to a lot of countries that it's just been so much cheaper um, than, uh, than had I stayed in the States, had I, you know, gone to Georgia Tech's on campus. I mean, just the cost per semester was so much expen more expensive um, going to the actual campus for literally the same degree. And, and again, I'm not saying one thing is better than the other. I'm saying it really depends on where you're at. If you can afford it, if you get this great scholarship, if, if you can afford going to the on campus um, and you want that experience, so that's, I mean, totally go for it. It's, it's uh, the actual, as long as you're getting the education, regardless, it, it's, uh, it's, it'll be worth, worth your while. This is not a type of education where, you know, these aren't like social sciences, right? Where it's like, you don't have no idea uh, are you going to get a job? I have several friends that have like psychology degrees and they're just out of work even before, you know, this whole traveling nightmare started. So, you know, th these are hard sciences. Like you will have plenty of resources that, I mean, I don't even want to get, you know, a day job at a, at a company. I really have, you know, no need for it, but I mean, it's always there, right? I could always go into that. After you get your master's, you, you can teach. Again, I don't, I'd rather teach in this method, you know, doing it online and, 
And um, for me, that kind of platform sounds more interesting. But the fact that it's like after having a degree, it's like I have that option. Whereas like if you don't have the degree, you're, you're more limited, right? So why not get the degree, save a ton of money doing it, having a great time, and then at the end of it, you just have more options either way. And the way I'm looking at it, even if I don't continue um, down this path as, as far as getting the, the degree, the skills that I needed to hone, the time that I needed to spend, I spent it because I was motivated, right? To me, that's the biggest thing that, uh, that being at a university like, like Georgia Tech has really helped me out. It's like I was very, very motivated. So even when there was very little reason to kind of keep going, right, just based on my particular situation and what I already have going on, um, I'm still as probably as motivated as, as, as I was when, when I started, right? Because it's like I finally got those skills honed that, that, that you know, I put in those hours. You, you have to put in, you have to put in the 10,000 hours. You're not going to get where you want to go. Every time I see one of these courses, oh, learn data science in a month. It's like, are you out of your mind? You, you'll get a basic idea. You're basically getting the summary. It's almost like somebody getting like cliff notes, you know, for, um, a book that's uh, on legal terms that you're just getting a highlight, you know, real of, of uh, what is it that you're trying to learn. You're not getting that in-depth knowledge that takes time. Uh, I remember Google did a video on, on uh, how to learn how to program in 10 years. It's like, yeah, that's, that's what it takes. That's almost the amount of time I've already put into this. I, and if it's not 10 years, it's, it's pretty close. I mean, I've poured in hours doing this. I've built games, I've built uh, um, apps, I've, I've built software for it. I've, created uh, uh, automated scripts. It's like, I put in the time for it now. So that's what's gonna take regardless. So can you do it on your own and just stay home and just learn and not go in? Yeah, of course, it, it, it really depends on where is it that you're at and what you wanna do, right? So, and then also in order for me to just keep track and everything, that's also why I built um, my app, right? My, my timing app, just to kind of help me get everything together and stay as focused as possible. So that, that was also a huge help. So it's interesting because by building that app, that's helping, that's helping me focus now on my degree and uh, on, uh, on my other projects, my other businesses, it's helped me reinforce all the other projects that I want to do. So now it's like I'm finding out the connection points, which is why I keep telling people, the more you go, um, the more of these classes you take, you're going to have a better idea of where is it that you want to be focusing on in, uh, in your particular career path. So if you already know what you want to do and you don't need the degree, I, I also recommend it's like, well, if you already have the skills and you don't really need the degree, then what would be the point anyway? But I was to that point where I knew if I just had the right source material, maybe I could find the right avenue, like where I wanted to take it, these particular skills. So... Yeah, and while I did it, I got to see amazing places, amazing people just get out of my box too, just get out of my head a little bit because it's so different when you're just in the same place talking to the same people in your own little bubble. When you get out and you travel and you just meet people from all over the place that's had such different experiences, it really enriches you in, in, in more ways that you can imagine. So I've been doing this for over three, almost three and a half years now. So and, uh, I might put a stop for a while now because of because of the current situation. But at some point, things will be better again. It'll be like before. And you know, my intention is keep going you know, with, uh, um, with the right health and business going the way it's going and everything else. It's, uh, this, is, this isn't, to me, this isn't like a pause in my life and it's like, I'm gonna stop doing what I was doing. To me, this is, uh, I'm just gonna keep focusing on what, what I'm working on. And as soon as the doors, you know, the gates open again, um, you know, keep traveling around. And, um, and seeing where, you know, this degree and where these projects take me. <laughs>